All right, hello, hello. We are back to try to do this part one walkthrough again for the third time. <laughs> the first time I attempted this video, server crashed on me. Second time I attempted this video, didn't realize OBS wasn't recording any sound. So, here we go. The third time's a charm. Welcome, guys. How are you? Uh, I am Trini for life. And as you see behind me, one of Aaron Longstaff's bills, the large house with stables. Uh, of course, my version of his build. And a friend of mine asked that I do a walkthrough. So we're going to do a walkthrough of the house. Hopefully you guys like what you see. And that crazy person you hear yelling in the background, that is Fluffy. It's so funny. <laughs> A.K.A. my decorator. <laughs> she is back there trying to... I don't know what to say. But <laughs> if you're familiar with Aaron's build, as you see behind me, uh, the stairway is different. The entryway is different. So that's going to be the first modification that you see. But let's get started. We're going to take you around the outside of the house first. We're going to enter the house through the stables. And I'm going to walk you through the different rooms, the different modifications I've made. And take you upstairs so you can see. So let's kick this tour off. Let's go. All right. But, uh, yeah, as you... As you see outside, nothing has been painted, nothing has been landscaped. This is the start of this base build on Crystal Isles, which we are on the Crystal Isles map. Crystal, Crystal, Chris, Crystal Isles. Crystal Isles map on the Caribbean Isles server, which is run by the wonderful Daddy's Baby Girl. Another streamer, friend of mine, someone I just recently met who was courteous and generous enough to allow me to be part of her server her link will be in the description below fluffy's link will be in the description below you can guys check them out give them a follow show them some support it's a community we like to you know keep each other supported and propped up however you want to say it <laughs> but let's go we're gonna walk around um as you see we have some foundations on the outside just to create kind of like areas for planters I'm going to put some plants out here to kind of decorate the outside of the house. Uh, as we go around, there's more planters up there. Four more there. Some more space here. But first thing you're going to notice, if these leaves would get out the way, is that the house is somewhat elevated. You know, Aaron's build was more on flat surface, whereas I am on a piece of land that kind of slopes. So where the stables are, are on ground. But as we get to the rest of the house, I had to raise the foundations up to meet the bottom of the house. So it gave me an idea to add more space or add more rooms and stuff like that, which is what I did. But you'll see once we get inside. But, uh, as we continue around the back of the house, you see back here, we have what I call the constructions area. <laughs> as we build, you get extra supplies and stuff. So we crafted a grinder put it out here to basically grind up uh, things that we didn't need that we could use later on and this damn microphone is just playing with me but uh we got that fixed uh so yeah <laughs> we've got the grinder out here we have our generator in here powering everything yep we can't be turning that off <laughs> and then we have a refrigerator out here for some of the meats and animals that we killed. We had to save the meat. We don't want it to go to waste. Storage box for extra things that we chose to keep instead of grinding. And we're going to continue around. Don't you just love the trees and the ambiance of this area? Look at this. We got to take a minute to check this out. All right. This is Crystal Isles, guys. Definitely one of the most beautiful maps. Oh, look at the views. This is amazing. But anyways, let's get back to the house. So we're going to go in through the stables, which right here, you see the stable space. And 
as you can see there's lots of space for whatever you want you can put some stalls in here you can put some uh, compost bins in here turn it into your own little barn or whatever you like all right I'm gonna go into the house this room is where we had some of our essentials fabricator smithy chem bench things that we needed as we were building uh, we have some additional things here different mods that we use that we will be using for decorating this comes from one of the ecos rp mods if you're not using eco rp to decorate your place you might want to check this out man it, it turns the game into a whole different experience trust me and of course our main entryway which you guys saw the stairs already right there's the stairs leads up to the house uh -huh. we got our little porch patio area which kind of wraps around Oh, uh, and the reason the door keeps opening and closing, we do use the Structures Plus S Plus mod, which allows for automatic doors. Wonderful mod. Uh, but here, this patio kind of wraps around and comes back to the stable. You can always add some stuff here. I don't know what we're going to put, but we'll see. As we continue with this build and decorate it, build it up, we'll do some more videos to kind of show you guys the progress but next modification we can see in Aaron's build this was one room that I think they turned into a kitchen or something like that but because I had space underneath in the foundation I kinda dug out the foundation added some stairs and created my own little living space two more essentials beds gotta have them <laughs> but also I have my dino storage down here. Another mod. Yes, another mod that you gotta use. Dino Storage V2 replaces cryopods. And I, I mean, oh, so much capabilities with this thing. I can incubate eggs. I can protect my home. I can do so, so much with it. So if you're not using it, check that out. We're gonna take you guys upstairs to the second floor. And show you one big room right here. All the rooms have some what of a decent view if you're not looking at you know the overhang on the patio. <laughs> but there is a second room here. This is on the second floor, two rooms. And as we head towards the stairs, there is a door here that leads to some storage, or at least the space that I'm going to be using as storage. Uh, and then we go upstairs to the final area, which I like to call the man's penthouse. <laughs> no, I just came up with that. I just came up with that. <laughs> but yeah, this is going to be kind of living space as well. Uh, major views out here. I love this view. You got the trees, and it looks out over the wyvern, I guess you can call, trench area in the desert, if you're familiar with Crystal Isles. That is the desert area where the wyverns nest. And if we go back here, looking over the other side, you see the beaches and the green ob. And we do have two doors, which gives you even better views. Man, this is a beautiful map. We're going to go over two sides with amazing, amazing views. But this is the gist of the house. You guys saw my modifications was the downstairs area and the entryway. I'm going to continue doing some decorating, or I should say Fluffy's going to continue doing some decorating. Of course, I am going to help her. And we'll see what becomes of it. You know, as it progresses, we will do some more videos so you guys can get an opportunity to see what happens to this house. If you like what you see so far, please be sure to like, subscribe, and make sure you check us out on Twitch. Trinity for Life underscore. And it's so fluffy. And Daddy's Baby Girl. See you guys soon.